we continue to reflect on how the Word of God is received into our soul, into our hearts. And uh, we continue how to, to reflect on how the Good Shepherd, Jesus, would guide us so that uh, we can maintain the seed of faith, the Word of God that is given to us. We are given laws and ordinances because laws are made for the common good of everyone. And uh, laws should be reflected from the divine law, who is the divine giver of all the laws that we have in this world. And we should be guided by the law of God. Whereas we have uh, received the Decalogue, which is the law of Moses, that Jesus has summarized into the law of love. The law, the first of the three commandments in the Decalogue refers to the law of God. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And the second, the fourth to the tenth is our love for our neighbor as we love ourselves. And we have to keep the law of love which, that Jesus has given us by putting them into practice. The question is, uh, there are some temptations just like uh, the parable of the grounds where the Word of God, the seed, has been sown. There is the edge of path, there is the thorn, there is the rock in which all these seeds would not grow. They are choked, they dry up, they perish. Now, our concern is to be the kind of soil which is fertile, in which the Word of God can flourish, in which the law of God can rule in our heart, and wherever we are, wherever we go, the Word of God and the law of God is kept into our heart, and we implement them in practice. And how do we do this? We are always guided by our Lord Jesus. Why we are always inspired by the Word of God through the reading of the sacred scriptures, reflecting on them, meditating on them. And we are guided by the saints, by the holy men and women who are inspirations for us. Just like today, we have Saint Charbel Makluf, an inspiration of the people, not only of Lebanon, but of the world for his outstanding character and his dedication of his life for the service of God. And today, as we honor the Blessed Mother, let us realize that the Blessed Mother, being the first of all Christians and being the first who followed the law of love of God, has shown us a great example of obedience and humility. Obedience to the will of God, obedience to the Word of God, and obedience to the law of God. Let us be inspired by the holy men and women, by those people around us, and by the Word of God as we read and reflect the sacred scriptures. May God's Word and God's law be embedded into our soul. May God bless us all.